The current uh, internet works as such. So instead of having end-to-end, -end, if not let's say peer-to-peer -peer communication, like we have it on the phone, uh, we have somebody in between us who is basically telling us, I am the master and you are my slaves. So I'll make you to talk to each other, but I decide on this one uh, to do it. The original design of the internet was that the big mainframes, they talk to each other directly. In the meantime, we have the telecom world that has joined and they don't give IP addresses to the users. They give only uh, dynamic, if not only private IP addresses, which makes them rather slaves instead of masters in the uh, connection. So people can't talk to each other unless somebody else makes that possible. And with IPv6, we have restored this end-to-end -end model so that people can talk to each other directly. And this is very important for applications like uh, blockchain, which will be uh, for sure one of the first biggest candidates to use IPv6 for the many functions that it brings with it. So in the area of uh, IoT, so you don't want to have somebody who is telling the IoT devices to talk to each other, they should talk to each other directly, especially if you have thousands of them implemented. So you want to have these IoT devices to speak to each other and then just send you the decision making that they suggest to you what to do. All these devices, they serve us and we are not there in order to uh, coach them. So this is a, a move back to the original idea of, of the internet and as a matter of fact, BSV and blockchain is also moved back to the original design of the Bitcoin and blockchain. So it's a good time now that we have new internet protocol, although 45% of the world population is using it without knowing it. And I think we'll see in the hype curve that basically IPv6 is booming. And also BSV and blockchain are also on the same curve going upwards. So they are going to be very good roommates in conquering the internet in a very big style. Now the next thing will be in this case the internet blockchain revolution. We are just at the beginning of it. So it will be how you can use blockchain for tracing, tracking of the products and goods and logistics and so on and so forth. If we look at the just the agriculture uh, for instance in the US, 30% uh, of the food is lost only in the supply chain. And we are in Morocco here, we have spoken to the Ministry of Agriculture and they say that 40% of the food is lost from the uh, farm in the supply chain. But then the distribution channel, they reflect the loss of the 40% into the end price. On top of that, the farmer is not getting his uh, proper price. So normally the farmer should sell directly to the end users through distribution channel, but he doesn't need to have somebody in between. So this is not only valid for money, but it's also valid for products. So there is an incremental, there's a massive redefinition of the supply chain, uh, especially in the food supply, because currently we are under pressure in, in everywhere. Same thing applies to all the logistic or car industry and so on and so forth. This technology can maximize, if not reduce the pain on the producers, especially the farmers but also on the end users. This is a kind of a, you know, fantastic development that we see in front of us, so that the producers and the users are going to be linked to each other. Now we'll see exactly what's happening and who is making money in that chain. And the end user will be benefiting from this. I'm very optimistic for the next five years to see a lot of large cases uh, happening uh, in this area. As a matter of fact, I was following blockchain for quite a while. What I saw was not very attractive, uh, especially in the crypto world. Uh, because to be honest with you, that's more of a Ponzi scheme happening. I don't think that's uh, healthy for the world, but it's, it's big. And like we had the, the internet uh, bubble back end of the 1999 and 2000, uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see the crypto bubble also to blow in our face. So by looking at uh, what is the best solution that exists on the market, so obviously like anyone uh, who, who does his own homework. So I could see that uh, one gentleman uh, was looking at IPv6 and want to review Bitcoin. So I could find the text and found who is the author. And it happened to be Greg uh, Wright. So I sent him an email and he replied in the same second, yeah, I'm interested to talk to you. It was back in December. So after the uh, issue in uh, Miami, I was clear that uh, something very positive has happened to him. Uh, in this case, that's opened the gates to me and I want to talk to him. 
And since we talked, uh, we are on a roller coaster, you know, to make BSV and blockchain the prime candidate for IPv6. And so far, we have done a lot of events and we are writing some papers on this and also plenty of uh, conferences, you know, to promote the best practices and the right messages, how to get IPv6 uh, to marry uh, blockchain primarily. We can do it far better with IPv6, especially for the entire planet, not only for uh, certain uh, users. So it will be open thing that most probably will uh, touch every single industry that is going to look for, you know, data transparency as well as tracking, tracing and so on so forth. And uh, today uh, the world needs some uh, application that creates peace among people. Now, as a matter of fact, uh, we have a paper uh, that Greg and his team and, and myself, we have worked on it and we have proposed it to Etsy as a group report uh, showing you know, what kind of new functionalities we're going to use that are going beyond IPv6. So we're using identifiers, uh, using what is called CGA, which is uh, cryptographically generated addresses. So we're going to use the IPv6 addresses, but encrypt them as well, you know, to give certain identification with the privacy and so on. This feature have not been used at all. And it was waiting for about 20 years, you know, to be discovered by Craig. And this paper will be published end of June. But in the meantime, I have run it through uh, many V6 experts. And the response is simple, W-O-W. -W.